Here in Toledo, we want to make a change. We want the people to actually plan, control, and own their own resources. And uh, uh, going, uh, um, working towards that, the TEA is trying to empower the, the indigenous people to actually uh, learn to, you know, to, to do things on their own. So our Eco Park plan falls into the category as, a, as an alternative plan for the people of Toledo, not, not dividing uh, you know, other ethnic groups from different groups, but we want to unite. For an example, like, like in Brazil, there was a, I read a story about a similar project like the Toledo Ecotourism Association. Now, when they have elections, they have a, a, a mini, the Minister of Tourism that got, get into his position, he awarded this project $2 million. And that is where I see that, you know, development could happen. But, you know, we need the government support as well to actually, you know, advertise what we have here in Belize. And that is not happening here in Belize right now. I remember in 1996, when uh, Dr. Hermann Barth came from Germany to check this program out for the to-do prize. He spent 12 days interviewing the Mayan villagers and the tourists and looking at our books. And the TEA was able to win the world prize in uh, Berlin in that in 1997 uh, for the most socially responsible community-based program. And part of the prize uh, was that the German ZDF television had a very popular tourism show on Sunday. I believe the woman's name was Monica Rome. And she met with the uh, chairman of the TEA and myself, and we did a plan for, a, for a, a special that they were going to do on the TEA because it won the award. And when they came to Belize to do that special, the government told them that they'd have to go up north and that they couldn't do the special on the TEA. It was estimated to be perhaps a million dollars of marketing and promotion because it would be shown to Germany and many other European countries. And Germans were one of the largest eco-tourists at the time. So that, that discrimination against the South and specifically against the Mayan people really in 1997, we would have established this program and we had 10 guest houses and it would have put Toledo on the map and all these other tourism businesses and everything else could have begun to grow at that time. Right? Uh, culture preserve is because like, you know, at the moment, we still have the connections with the forests that we toil. We still have uses of trees that are in the jungle. So, you know, that, that, that in a way, if we don't preserve the forest and the, and the culture, then we are not preserving anything. So for, in order for us Maya people to actually, you know, retain these um, traditional practices, then we have to preserve the culture and the, 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 the rainforest that we have, because that is where we live, that is where we hunt. That is where we fish, and that is where we get food. So, um, to us, living in the in the jungle is 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 part of our life. Because if we change our culture, if we change the way how we dress, and uh, you know, there will be no ecotourism, no no kind of preservation of culture. So that is why, you know, we are trying very hard to actually, you know, get most of our Maya people to think that ecotourism is a supplementary um, kind of a income generating project instead of getting everybody rich and, um, you know, you know, start to adopt other modern um, styles and, you know, they just forget their culture. book fee and even report card they started 50 cents to get a report card first first semester then one dollar belize 
Then now it's three dollars for one report card to collect in school. And then if you miss school, they have to charge you 50 cents a day, extra on top of three dollars. And when you look at it, we have government. Government it's looking from itself. When you can hold them in a cabinet talking, they said education is free, which is not free. Nothing is free. They just fooling the people in the contract beliefs that said free free but contract beliefs they are not full where can we find the money to pay extra bills for for for, for school and for education we need more visitors even though we are getting quite a few thousand visitors into the country which is mainly belize and as far down as placencia we're not getting them in toledo and so we have a problem there. I personally have trained at least 75 tour guides here in Toledo. And what happened? The majority of these guys have to branch off and do something else. They just can't stay there waiting for a tour. And so my hope is that in the future, we'll have sufficient visitors coming into Toledo, coming into Punta Gorda, so that the local people will have self-sufficient. They'll be able to manage themselves and not moving out of Toledo. That's what is happening right now. We have people living in the United States. It was estimated some times ago that over 3,000 people use move to the United States each year. And they, if they don't have to come back, they won't come because of the situation here in Toledo or in Belize for that matter.